So hey guys, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. Uh, recently you have seen a video I did to where I replaced this patio door. One of the reasons that we did this was because the door was falling apart, but we also wanted to go with a more modern uh, glass that did not have the grids in it. So with that in mind, we are wanting to finish up that project with doing a small project on the front door as well. And so one of the things we are doing is we are replacing the glass inserts that are on the side of the door. This is the old style that has the grids in it and I have already replaced this one uh, to go to the new style without. Uh, besides the plastic being uh, yellowed and it's starting to crack because it's getting so brittle, uh, we just wanted to go with this newer design. It looks so much nicer, it's more modern and the biggest thing is going to be so easy to clean. So anyway guys, I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along. This is an easy project. It's This is an easy DIYer. So you know me guys, let's get busy. So before we even get started, I wanna bring you up to date on how we got to where we are today. So the first thing we did is we took measurements. You can either do outside to outside or you can do inside to inside with the glass. And these basically come in two different sizes and the biggest difference is the width and that's what they need to know. So I got the measurements, I went down to Lowe's to the contractor's desk and we put an order in uh, for the replacements and of course this is what they come, it's a completely sealed unit. Uh, you can order different types of glass to go inside it but the frames are pretty much the white plastic uh, that has a seal in it and they come just like this and I'm gonna loosen the screws, this breaks apart in half. Uh, so before I take this apart, we'll obviously take this out of the house and get this done because once this is out of the way, we've got some cleanup to do and prep before we're ready to put the new piece in. All right, so the first thing you wanna do before you start deinstalling this is you don't wanna pull paint and, and you wanna fix it where it'll let go easier. So you make a cut line between what you're taking out and what's staying and cut that seal area so it'll let go. And you just go all the way around to do it. These are very coarse thread screws. They're not tight to get loose and they come out fast. So you can use a gun if you like, but this doesn't take long. Okay, so the surface is all scraped clean, it's even, uh, and all the old res residue is off of it. So now we are ready to split this window and or this assembly and go ahead and get it installed. All right guys, while I'm in the middle here and I've got the old unit and the new unit setting side by side, I wanted to show you the differences in the way they used to put it on back in the 90s versus the new way they do it now. You can see that it had this wide bead and they used this rubbery silicon. Now this obviously sealed it from the weather, but this stuff right here where we live, we get up in the summertime, it gets up in 100 to 102 sometimes in the middle of the summer, like in your August time frames. And between the heat and the sunshine on this, I have seen this just turn into liquid and just run down the door. So I don't, I don't like that. So this is the old way. And the new way they have replaced it, let me come to this side, and it is now a O-ring type, so that, that's what seals it now. So just thought I would share with you the technology changes from before and now. Makes the install very quick and easy, and all you, you don't even have to deal with anything because the O-ring is already set in place. So when they ship it, let's see if I can show you, they usually put uh, two screws in on top, two screws in the bottom, and this holds the frame assembly together. So all I've got to do is do the, take these out and it'll come apart. 
One thing please note is that once this comes apart, this glass that rides in between is not sealed to the front and it can fall out. So you just gotta be careful and not let that happen. Okay, so just a couple of quick notes. Uh, I put in two screws loosely at the top, two screws at the bottom loosely. That way it would not fall out, I wouldn't lose a glass, but it allowed me to move this around and get it centered, uh, get it to the height that I needed. Um, and then I started s slowly snugging these up. Uh, Last thing you do is you put in these little caps that go over the screw holes and they are angled, they are beveled. There's a short side and a high side and it fits the frame. And a lot of times it might push in easy. Some, a lot of them though, will need a little tap with a hammer, nothing major. project done this was less than an hour and as you see it was very easy uh, obviously I have got painting to do uh, front door needs painting anyway so uh, as we're just getting into the season starting to warm back up so with the nicer temperatures this will be a project coming up soon uh, I'll also be at the same time painting the back patio door uh, for everything to match and look nice so anyway guys for now that's it remember here project next one there's always another one coming so be on the lookout and guys uh, I will include on the end screens be sure to check it out the install of the back patio door that was a pretty cool project as well wasn't near as fast as this one but uh, we were able to get that installed so anyway guys thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon take care <laughs>